Hello, you lucky person. Welcome to Mr. Products 5 Minute Biology, yet another installment uh, early. All right, we're going to get started right away. It's five minutes of rapid paced biology information. Let's start with one of the macromolecules. We had carbohydrates last time, uh, if you watched that episode, so we're going to do lipids today. Lipids are also known as, aka, fats. When you see fats on the nutrition label, they're talking about lipids. Lipids is just a fancy word we use for when they're inside your body. Um, let's start right away with the function of lipids. So again, structure and function are two important things in biology that we have to look at. Function is what it does. Two main things that lipids do in your body. One, they store long-term energy. And that's important, and I'm sure you've all heard of getting fat, eating too much. Your body stores excess carbohydrates and excess proteins and excess lipids as fat in your body. Um, those lipid stores are good because if there's a time of starvation or when you're not getting enough energy, you can use that. But in nowadays society, we don't really need all that energy. And the second thing that it's most known for is being part of the cell membrane. And that's important, right? If anybody wants good skin, that's also important. Um, the cell membrane lets things in and out of the cell, and it also makes up a large part of our skin. And if our cell membranes are moist and are con they contain a bunch of omega-3 lipids, um, it keeps the skin nice and healthy. So we're going to get on to that later. So there's the functions. If you pause, you can take a look at these two, but if not, we're going to move right on to structure. So erase that. Now lipid structure is kind of funky. Okay, Again, structure, important in biology. I'm going to draw you a picture of it first. Lipids have a head, which is called the glycerol molecule. And off of that are fatty acid chains, usually shown as uh, these jagged lines. These are, uh, all the, the angles on here are, carbo are carbon molecule atoms, sorry, and they connect together to make long, long um, chains. Um, and that's where all that energy is stored. If you think of all these lines as bonds between carbons, there's a lot of bonds in that molecule, which means there's a lot of energy stored. Um, so the structure is a glycerol head with these tails called fatty acid tails. And that's where the word fat comes from. So fatty acid tails, glycerol head. Right, and again, it's got a lot of bonds in it. It stores a lot of energy. And it's also very dense. These can be packed together very tightly to store a lot of energy in a small place. Alrighty then, so let's move on. You can pause that if you need to. We're going to move on to um, how lipids are structured in the cell membrane. So they store a lot of energy. But let's take a look at a cell membrane to see how lipids are actually in that membrane. So imagine that you've got a cell, and that's the cell membrane. This is an animal cell, so there's no cell wall. There's the nucleus in there. There's the endoplasmic reticulum all folded up. The mitochondria in there. You've got ribosomes everywhere, also in the endoplasmic reticulum. You've got a Golgi body in there. Um, uh, we can add a couple other things like a lysosome. But pretty much this is the animal, typical animal cell. And right here is the cell membrane. And if we zoomed into that cell membrane, let me write this on cell membrane for you, we would see that that membrane is actually two layers. And if we zoomed in on those two layers, they would look something like this. Okay, this is the top layer that we're zooming in on. Yeah, and then here's the bottom layer. So the cell membrane is two layers made of lipids, which I'm drawing right now. All these molecules that I'm drawing very smallly are lipids. And if you imagine if that continued around in a circle, that would make the cell membrane, which is shown here. Um, and these lipids are important. They can squeeze together. Um, these parts don't like water, the tails, and the heads like water, which is why they face out. Tails face in towards each other. And this acts as a layer to let things in and out. So small things can get in and out, like gases and water. Um, but large molecules, like let's say a huge glucose, can't unless it needs help. I'm saying that's glucose. So those fat molecules are an integral part, an important part of the cell membrane, letting things in and out. All right, so that's pretty much an overview of lipids. Um, one last thing I want to add before we get well, before we end here is one of the more important things about lipids is the fact that their energy is long term, and they also store and release more energy. So they release more energy. than carbohydrates. Okay, and that's an important part that's mentioned on the EOC. Uh, so if you want to look on the back of a nutrition label, um, if you want to just grab one right now from your, your kitchen pantry, you notice that carbohydrates, right, per gram only use four or only provide four calories. Carbohydrates do. Um, lipids provide nine calories per gram. So per weight, per gram of weight, lipids provide more energy than carbohydrates. So they're a better source of energy for your body. All right, that's lipids in five minutes.